Aloha, thank you for joining my channel. I am Hawaiian Libra and today I am going to be doing uh, astrological sign for air signs, Aquarius, here, Le Gemini, and Libra for the month of June. Thank you so much for joining my channel. Um, my channel is for 18 years and older, 18 years and older, and this channel is for entertainment purposes only, okay? entertainment purposes only although i'm very clairvoyant <laughs> um yes I, I have to say that um that my channel is for entertainment purposes only um i am a reiki one and two healer i am presently taking a reiki three uh class and it is awesome it's an awesome journey uh, my como is lali from purple healing spirit so please check out her information on instagram purple healing spirit lali okay um what else okay so i am going to start with aquarius but just to let you guys know i did a bonus reading a general bonus reading for all air signs and that's going to be read after um i read for libra okay so let's get started. Um, right now is 129. I'll just put 130. How's that? Okay. 130. Then we're gonna start with Aquarius. Okay, 130. Okay. Aquarius. We're gonna start with love. Okay. I'm gonna start with your love reading. Okay, so while I was meditating, I was listening to music, I was tuning in to um I was actually tuning in to all the air signs, but I'm not going to read that until um, probably the ending, okay? So, Aquarius, specifically for you guys, let me check my notes. Okay, specifically for you guys, um, I was getting for love really oh yeah for love for Aquarius okay I was getting um for you guys Aquarius for June 2021 I was getting something about um sorry I can't even hear see my handwriting yeah something about you guys um feeling like you want to um like for those of for the divine masculines that are in a relationship so i got the dm right here so for you divine masculines that are in a relationship i am getting this feeling that you guys want to explore that you guys want to explore and for your for dfs that are aquarius in a relationship i'm getting this feeling that you guys want to just be on a pause and a break and ex explore and possibly date other people but it's not for all Aquarius I'm just saying it's for some of you I'm sorry for Tata telling on you guys I wrote all of this while meditating um on your sign and and then um in the divine feminine in a relationship yeah some of you guys divine feminines are in a relationship with a D, divine masculine that wants to explore and you also kind of, if you're uh, Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart, you kind of want to explore too, or just be on pause or a break. Be on pause or a break from the relationship. Like you're kind of like carrying on a lot. And um, there's a lot of energy that you're, um, that there's a lot of energy that you're utilizing that's kind of wearing you down. That That's what I meditated on. And it's, it's for some of you, oh yeah, and so for money, some of you are building a pot of gold, like you're building up your coins, and you guys are going to be very optimistic in June for the rest of June. And for health, um, please just watch your blood circulation. I'm not a medical doctor, just to let you, just to let you guys know, okay? I can only tell you what I saw, but um please see a doctor if you're having circulation problems in your feet okay so um that's but that's what i uh, saw in the meditation okay okay aquarius we're gonna do your cards now okay mahalo 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 thank you aquarius for joining me um what kind of messages can 
um hawaii libra spiritual team tell us for aquarius for the month of june thank you thank you thank you so appreciative very very appreciative of aquarius for being here I'm going to choose five cards. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So, Aquarius, you got the two of hearts and the three of hearts. And that is a like partnership. And this three of hearts, it may mean like in your romantic. Um, For those of you that are in a romantic or with a partner, it looks like um there's some kind of unfulfillment. Yeah, there's some kind of unfulfillment. And then there, you got the eight of diamonds, the five of spades, and the three of spades. It's just like a lot of work. A lot of work during the summer. Like you want to relax. A lot of energy. Um, um, both for divine feminine, divine masculine, Aquarius. Like there's just a lot of work and a lot of energy spent on the relationship, on the job, and just a lot of demands. And this summer you wanna you wanna cruise, you want I mean you do find time to go to the beach some for some of you you do find time to go to the beach but it's like just some of you are in a family business like some of you are working in this um a family biz business aquarius and it's just wearing you down there's a few of you that work for your partner's business so that demands a lot of expectations yeah and you're kind of like I want to be on pause. I want to be on pause for a little while. Okay. Okay, Aquarius. So I'm just going to put that those five cards there. We're going to look at... We're going to use the Hawaiian um, flash cards now. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Hawaiian Libra spiritual team, what kind of messages can you give us for Aquarius? For Aquarius, thank you, thank you, thank you. Using um, the Hawaiian vocabulary cards for the month of June. Okay. This is one of the first cards that came out. Was Kahookupu gifts gifts Aquarius and the feeling that I get Aquarius is that you you give a lot of yourself you give your energy um you are very give you're very giving person kind person and um that that's just in your nature especially with people that you love and your family like um you're very respectful to um Aquarius and um kaho okupo and you've come a long way too for some of you older aquarius or more experienced aquarius or for mature aquarius that had to learn how to be giving you came a long way too and then right here kala it's just like you're happy when you give like your kind heart brings happiness sorry for the background noise you guys and see you love your family ka ohana ka ohana you love your family and you really want to take care of your family and right here is ka lai and this one is ke koko leka so like there may have there may be some healing that needs to like you know like how in these cards like you want to relax because there's so much work there like you, you want to take a, at least one day off to indulge it seems like and you need healing like your body might be aching and sore and that that's what it is yeah because you work so you love your family and you work very hard for your family but it feels like you want to take a pause for some of you not all of you just to indulge a little bit, you know, and to heal for healing, to um, relax and heal. It's, it's you know, it's summertime and every time summertime comes, people are very excited, you know, they're, 
and it, it's hot you know like um other messages i got was it's hot i want to go to the beach that's that's one message that's the message i kept on getting while meditating well okay okay we're gonna use um these cards that um was gifted to me by my cousin like the primo tarot mahalo 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 thank you hawaii libra spiritual team what else can you tell us for the sign of aquarius for the month of june mahalo 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 hope you guys are doing good aquarius hope you guys had a great um start for your summer one two three four five okay it feels fine Let's see okay three of wands right here and it's just like um somebody that's trying to build is working working and building three of wands working building preparing planning because you see this flowers you see planting seeds just starting to plant the seeds um or planting more seeds and it's growing flowers right here getting new ideas fresh ideas of careers um whatever project you're working on maybe at home maybe um pitching a line to your boss or telling your partner your ideas and um really tending to them and working on them could be like home improvement it could be like um writing a song it could be um doing doing something in with the yard and then um right here eight of chalices eight of chalices so in this part there's someone and his back is facing and there's um i don't know what this is but it looks like it looks like he's trying to manifest something and it hasn't come out yet this eight of chalices it hasn't come out but it looks like he's trying to manifest something and it it looks like it's um like making nothing into something i that's what i take i take this card as making nothing out of something for eight of chalices Or utilizing all your knowledge into the world or the into the universe and see and you're trying to you're waiting to see what happens with that so these two cards match each other and that's and I think that has to do with money because I think that that clarifies this eight of diamonds right there then ten of chalices right here so you got a lot of chalices cards so this is like a collection of things a collection of um two people in a tree collecting things um like in this scenario this ten, this ten of chalices um with this two people in this tree and collecting everything and, and it, it seems like they're um like there's a lot of contentment there's contentment in this so for some of you you may feel content with all these things that you have all the all this um physical things that you have and you're counting them and there here's a justice card and the will of fortune some of you may be involved with a libra and this will of fortune um parts right here 
I'm just getting like cycles, going through a cycle. Like going through a, yeah, going through another cycle. Maybe, um, like you guys are getting uh, rewarded for all the hard work that you guys have done or other things that you guys, all the challenges that you guys went through together. Yeah. And you guys have some mutual respect for one another in this picture, but right here, just like the justice and the, yeah, will of fortune is saying that all this hard work that you guys put in and utilize everything, like you guys are, like it's like building, building nothing into something, and now it's something. So you get the justice card, all the challenges and hard work that occurs, you've been through with um, your partner, and then you get the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. So this was like money and um, love all mixed together. So so that's awesome. That's awesome. We'll look at your, um, we'll look at your health. Okay. Look at your health. So I'm just going to play this by ear of what the cards tell me. I'm not going to like separate the cards from love and money or health. I'm just going to let the um, cards reveal what they want to reveal visually to to me okay mahalo hawaii libra spiritual team we're gonna look at occurrences health mahalo 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 thank you thank you thank you um hawaii libra spiritual team for the month of june what can you tell us about occurrences health show us clearly please show us clearly Pull out five cards from here. Okay, so Knight of Cups reverse. Knight of Cups reverse right here. No, Knight of Coins, sorry. Knight of Coins reversed right here. So it's like I just get the, and this Ten of Coins is reverse. I don't know. I think it's like this. It's supposed to be like this <laughs> since you guys got the um ten of coins but now coins can be spent now coins can be spent people can change their mind too and not receive them or not accept the coins so you got to figure out a caress do you want to accept these coins do you want to accept this offer this job or you may be tired <clears throat> that's what i was meditating earlier <clears throat> that you may be tired with the job <clears throat> for a few of you or some of you you may be tired working for your um divine feminine or divine masculine's job family job <clears throat> or your own family job yeah so so you gotta make up your mind yeah and then king of um spears and knight of cups so when it's like this it's like fairness yeah edward stark was a fair man he was a man he followed the laws he followed the kingdom laws even though he kept had some secrets yeah he tried his best in the in his his older <clears throat> years to be truthful and be a good example to his kids okay when it's reversed like i would say that it's the opposite or you're just coming out of that or realizing another perspective about that like maybe resistance into that and this king of cups i mean the nine of sorry why am i saying king of cups <clears throat> okay retrogrades okay nine of cups this nine of cups is like he's so knowledgeable and he's and he's so he has everything he, he has every he read every book he's so knowledgeable now he gotta apply it so reverse means you done now you gotta apply it now you're applying it okay right here this is a the justice card right here five of spears you guys went through all this challenges you guys went through all these challenges like on process that you guys had to go through with the wheel of fortune and the justice card aquarius okay and for your health so for your health i was asking about your health yeah so for your health yeah 
it was most of the cards was reversed so you gotta um right here maybe change the diet maybe exercise more have a have a plan because you've been working so hard but have a plan maybe look at some help books to maybe look um for a fair plan a fair plan in your health and your diet okay Okay, yeah, Aquarius, the last um, set of cards is going to be the unicorn, but please um, check the timestamps for the general reading for you guys, okay? Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. What can you tell us for Aquarius? What kind of messages can you tell us for Aquarius using the unicorn cards? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. It's okay to be different. You don't need to be like everyone else. You're perfect just the way you are, um, Aquarius, okay? So it's okay to be different from your in-laws. It's okay to be different from your siblings. It is okay to be different from your coworkers, okay? Finish what you started. Oh, okay. Now this, is, this clarifies. You started something important and now it's time to complete it. So maybe with those chalices, maybe and the, the the planting of the seeds, maybe you started it, you got some stuff, you got some stuff done, you got some work done, but you really got to finish it. It could even be a relationship or a communication with somebody that you got to complete. Right here, love. The answer that you're seeking is love. Yeah, yes, Aquarius. So I that's what I felt too with the ohana cards and the sun right here that clarifies here the answer is love yeah some of us are just working too hard that we um kind of like you know we we have love in us and we love our families but because we've been working so hard we haven't been showing it yeah actively so relax everything's okay don't worry it's all going to be fine you didn't get any sword cards or anything like anything like that but you might be worried about your ohana and when you're worried about your ohana then like you had some of these cards reverse yeah so and so check please check if you're eating well well yeah check your check if you're eating wish upon a star make a wish and expect the very best okay expect the very best it's okay to ask the universe for wishes it's okay to ask your higher self, your guides, for help, okay? Okay, Aquarius, mahalo, thank you. Okay, now we're gonna do Gemini. So, Gemini, you're at 2320, 2320. Let me write that down. 2320. Okay, 2320. Okay, aloha, a Gemini. Okay, Gemini, um, when I was meditating about you guys, here, I took some notes right here. So for love, it said that um, you want to see the world with your partner. Like you want to travel. That's what I got. And you want to discover adventure while being very careful while you're traveling with your partner. Um, some of you want to go with friends if you're single. Um, money there's there seems to you seem to have money some money left and i saw a sugar jar with money inside like it was a white sugar jar and had money inside okay and then health um blood again blood circulation i am not a doctor you guys okay so please see your doctor but what i got was that you were walking actively you were circulating your blood actually by walking and elevating your feet that's what i saw okay okay so now gemini let's do your card reading i'm just gonna um sit in a see because i'm a libra my blood circulation i have to sit a certain way mahalo 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 thank you gemini's for being here what can you um, tell us for Gemini? Thank you, Hawaii Libra Spiritual Team. 
What can you show us for Gemini? What can you show us for Gemini? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Gemini. You got like kings and queens in here. What's going on? So you got the king coming out of the second here. You got five of speed, um, clubs. You got the three of clubs. You got the queen, um, Lily Wakalani. And you got the queen, um, Ka'ahumanu. So, um, what can I say about Liho Liho? Okay, Kamehameha the third, second, I mean, Kamehameha the second. So, he, um, was raised, um, I, I believe with, um, with Kahuna and his father's counsel, um, to be, to be traditional, yeah. And with the influence of Ka'ahumanu, yeah, he, um, at first he didn't want to break the kapu system. Yeah, and, uh, but he saw his mother kill Pualani um, and Kamehameha third eating together. Mm. And and he went somewhere, um, forgot where it was, but he went and he encountered women eating with men. Yeah, he, he really didn't want to break that tradition, but was influenced. And, you know, um, it, you know it could have been that Ka'ahumanu saw for people dying from diseases and was like, you know what, maybe things got to change. Maybe we got to eat with the men, you know. Um, maybe things got to be different. And of course, the missionaries was, you know, influential on our Ali'i. And then you, you got Queen Lilio Kalani Gemini, the Queen of Hearts. I got a five of spades and the um, five of spades. Why am I saying spades? Five of clubs and three of clubs, which equals eight. Yeah, so just say like eternal friendships here with maybe three important people um, in your life, divine feminine and a divine masculine. Um, these could be, the queens could be sisters. The king could be like your eldest son. Um, could be a nephew. And the eight is like eternal closeness, um, sociable, the five plus three, eight. Um, eight meaning internal, like eternal relationship. Cannot break the bond. It's like you cannot, nobody can break this bond between you guys. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, let's use the, um, the vocabulary cards. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Hawaiian Libra spiritual team, what kind of messages can um, we share with Gemini? What kind of messages can we share with Gemini? Let's see. Oh, it's a nice card. Okay. So right here, you got the Liko Lehua Gemini. Right, Kalehua. So this can mean a lot of things. Can mean a lot of things. Let's look what else you got. Okay, this one is Kaoma stove, oven or oven. Okay. This one here is Kavahi Eha. There's um two places where it, the bandage is on. So this could be an indication of health. And then this one is um Kapa Kapa. You know, um, like your yard. And then right here is a volcano, Kalua Pele. Kalua Pele. So these two go together. Yeah. So it's like the, it's like, I feel like this is a beautiful relationship. Like the beauty in the world. Because like when I meditated, you wanted adventure. Yeah. Pele went on a lot of, Tutu Pele went on a lot of adventures. Um, Gemini. And then this one could be like, um, could be in relation to health, um, like cook, cooking and working so hard in the yard that you may have gotten hurt, 
yeah maybe you need to take a break and you know and rest rest your body okay now let's do the game of thrones cards for gemini mahalo 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 thank you thank you thank you um thank you hawaiian libra spiritual team what kind of messages can you give our lovely gemini's for june 2021 Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Okay, let's see. Three of Spears. Get your spears. So, Gemini, you're like watching. I think this is you. Like, okay, I got two multiple messages now. You're like watching your ships come in, like watching um, your gifts come in, watching your abundance come in, watching um, maybe loved ones come, you know, visit you. And then this could be somebody waiting for you to come to them for some of you yeah and it doesn't have to be a lover or anything like that that it could be like um a dad or a brother or a boss or a friend waiting and it doesn't have to be a male it can be a um a female with divine masculine energy just um you know like waiting for you to deliver a package or something okay knight of cups knight of cups it's just like somebody is offering you something. It could be a new job. It could be a relation, new relationship. It could be a friendship. It could also be some a family member offering offering you something. Um, seven of coins reverse. So this part is like, I just feel like it's either two things where um, you may feel like I never have enough. I never have enough, or you may. Um, what you're feeling I just want to relax I just want to relax and then the sun reverse and the chariot so it's I just feel like um during this retrograde it's just been like okay when is it gonna be over when am I gonna experience happiness when am I gonna relax kind of like how our Chris was when are we going to travel? And so because like there's some kind of dissatisfaction or a little bit of a little bit of unhappiness in some areas, not in all areas, you guys, it's just the um it's just the way events are, the way you're responding to something that's not that bad. Um a solution um you guys want to travel and that's why you guys want to travel because you're there's just this unsatisfaction with something or this um or some kind of event or circumstance or some kind of feeling where you just want to travel you want to you know kind of move away a little bit for a little while and relax with your partner or your family or 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 go on the or go on a trip with friends yeah so the chariot okay let's see Okay. Mahalo, mahalo. Thank you, Hawaii Libra Spiritual Team. Using the unicorn cards, what else can you tell us? Um, what else kind of messages, Hawaii Libra Spiritual Team, would you like to share with Gemini for June 2021? Thank you. Mahalo. Love from your parents. No matter what your mother and father love you as much as they can. So sometimes parents don't show it, but they love you very, very much. And when they get kind of older, they talk they they might talk about it with you. Um, but just know that they've always loved you. Okay. And this card also and with the sun and the chariot this card also kind of indicated that you you love your family like you love your siblings you love whoever you love your you live with 
but there's sometimes when you just wanna you know like get away to you know get away for a little bit <laughs> like that sometimes family can be over um um overwhelming overwhelming yeah you know in the morning when you wake up you have a better idea about what to do relax until then yeah, I, I feel like some kind of worry or anxiety and it could have been about an event or something that happened or a circumstance. And then very soon, what you're asking for will soon in a happy will, will happen soon in a happy way. So you may be you may be have been praying for something. You may have been asking the universe for something or asking spirit or asking your spiritual guides or that, you know our angels or your um you know the highest of gods and goddesses when is this going to happen when am i going to do this when you know when are we going to travel or or you may have been asking your spouse or um or maybe like your best friend or roomie when are we going to do this when are we going to when are we going to go somewhere you know or something like that it's going to happen very soon that's what the unicorns are saying you're gifted. You're very intelligent and talented. I don't know if this card is saying to use, utilize your gifts, Gemini, but they're saying that you have a lot of gifts right now that, um, yeah, where you need to expand. They just, they just said expansion. Imagine what would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish come true. So, like, if you had a wish. Um, where you could travel on any boat cruise or go anywhere in the world, what would it be? What would it look like? Where would it be? How would it feel? Like those kinds of things. And when you imagine every little detail, like a brand new house with marble, um, like a marble kitchen, marble countertops with coal wood, um, shelves with a chandelier and a dinner table. Um, nice cool chairs, nice lighting, um, nice window silhouettes, bay windows in the house, you know, like try and imagine that kind of detail so that that kind of, so that the wish can come true. Yeah. Okay. Um, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. That was your reading. Okay, Libra. Now we're going to go to you libra we are on 3750 okay 3750 that's what i'm gonna write here 3750 for you libra okay libra let's look at um what i meditated on you for you okay so what i meditated for you is there's like i saw a divine masculine face uh, at a park um it was like a an older person an older soul and um you were meeting him like at a park and it this is for singles single libras and um something like meeting someone at a park and then some of um some of you um that are in a relationship you um may be meeting new friends and what else Oh, and then some of you singles are seem to be closed off to the relationship as well because you guys have um you guys remember um traumatizing things that had happened in your previous relationships and those kinds of things that we gotta we gotta hemolele we gotta um kind of we gotta heal from those kinds of things and say you know that happened but this relationship may you know you guys are gonna be just be careful about um not getting into the same pattern like you're, you're going to be very conscious about it um ask for help about money if you're having financial issues ask for help of because ask okay, libras ask for help like um like try and or try and observe the people that do work hard and do have money because um we gotta stop trying to be play a victim like Oh, how come they get that and we know more of that? Because we don't like it when people do that to us, right? So we got to um, put on our big boys, babies, and our big girls' panties and pull them up and say, you know what? I can do that too. I can do that too. I'm a Libra. I can do that too. I deserve that money. 
but try and ask for help or look for mentors that can help you and then um mm, some of you are astro projecting libras you guys are able to astro project and see yourself like from above the clouds and fl like fly real high up and then see yourself you guys can do that um at this time or you guys are gonna be doing that at this time okay let's get right into your reading libra mahalo 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 thank you hawaii libra spiritual team um what can you what kind of messages can you give our beautiful libra um for the month of june 2021 mahalo 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 thank you thank you thank you yeah. Alrighty, Libras. Okay, I have four of spades, seven of clubs, and six of um six of spades. And then you got six of hearts and nine of spades. Okay, it's like you're changing. The six six is like transitioning. And it's like you're change, you're trying to change to better yourself with this thing of like to communicate better with yourself. Um, you may be you may have gone through some conflict and struggle and self reflection, and then you're like trying to um see people, be happy for people, see people for who they are, see people like just accept people already and then you're going through these changes of how you see relationships how you communicate with yourself and with others and really being that chameleon like changing into this chameleon and really understanding yourself and self-reflection good job on you um libra mahalo 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 thank you hawaiian libra spiritual team what else can you um share for libras for june 2021 Thank you. What else kind of messages can you give or Libra? So sorry about my phone. It's like I'm leaning it on top of um this box right here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Right here. So you got the Ten of Swords. I'm just going to read it up right. Yeah, there was some struggle. Like some struggle and um, like people being mean to you. People getting mad at you. You know, it's like, it's just like Libra, you, you're not supposed to make mistakes. You know, being real harsh on you. king of wands right here but it feels like you got help within you went within and you got help and you asked for help and you reflected and you went inside yourself and you went deep and you dug deep so you could lift lift up yourself and the lovers so for june it looks like um you may find love if you're single you may find love if you're uh, with someone um, you may be working on your relationship. And then four of chalices and five of wands right here. So it's just like you're, it could, sometimes when I get this card, I feel like it's a card of boredom, but this may be deep reflection. And then five of wands, um, right here. And I see these people building together like teamwork. And because they look the same, it could also be different um, faces of reflection, but they're building together. Five of Wands. And here. See more clarification with the Game of Thrones and the. Um, the vocabulary cards so this is going to be a long reading air signs okay mahalo 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 thank you thank you thank you what else can you share um for libra hawaiian libra spiritual team thank you thank you thank you 
What else can you share? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So right here, laka is like a lock. Okay, so something closed off, maybe, possibly. And then um kamiki au, kamiki au. And this could be like um you caring for your nails. This could be health and wellness, like you um taking care of yourself. And then kahu, kahulu, the feather. This could be messages from your guardian angels or your archangels, your spiritual guide. And then kaohe is bamboo, has many, many uses. And that, that's what you are, um, very durable, flexible. You come up strong. And then right here, kapeni is like intelligence. So it's just like this right here i'm just getting like um you go within you um think about something and then you plan you organize and then you're here building you're building up something right here okay let's see um mahalo 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 thank you thank you thank you what else can you share with us about for libras what else can you share for Libras. Okay, the tower right here. So that explains the swords. Like it's like you went through something right here. All this stabbing in the back. Um, this hard work. This putting down by other people. And you know, maybe making mistakes and people making a big deal about that mistake. Like, Libras don't make, Libra, you don't make mistakes like that. What's wrong with you? They can make plenty mistakes, but you kind of make one mistake, you know? Kind of like getting picked on, too. But then you, you jump, you bounce right, right back up like a rubber band. Like, you're so flexible, Libra. And you're here, you're there defending yourself and, you, and, and you're like, I got, I just got to move on. You just, you know, I made a mistake. I get back up. And this is the eight of swords. Like you feel like trapped. Like you can't go anywhere. You feel like, wow, this is a hand that I was dealt and I got to deal with it. And, and some of you may feel like no matter how much, how much I hard I work, I, I'm never going to make it to that feeling very comfortable and content, you know, this eight of swords. But then right here, you get this offer, this Ace of Cups. Some, somebody offers you something. And um, you get this Ace of Coins. So these two Ace cards. And you you take it. You receive it. You, um, you make use of it. And it looks, you know. I would, I would say in June, re receive whatever you can. Whatever job, take it. You know, if you don't have a job, take it. Make lemons out of make lemonade out of lemons yeah ace of cups and ace of coins and like you can write you can finish what you started to just say like call um i think was it gemini like you can you're intelligent enough to do it okay so now we're gonna end with um libra well stay tuned because i got the general card reading at the end libra but for you guys we're gonna do the unicorn cards Mahalo, mahalo. Thank you, thank you. Um, Hawaii Libra Spiritual Team, using the unicorn cards, um, what kind of messages can you give us for Libra for the month of June 2021? Thank you. Up here and down here. And we're up here. Okay. Okay. Decide. It's time to clearly make a decision about what you want. Okay. Libra, we... um. Because I'm a Libra myself. So we have a hard time deciding on things, yeah. We got to, sometimes we're looking at every angle and we, we, um, we overthink. So we got to come up with a decision. Yeah. And any, every decision, um, I know is like, it's like scrutiny, yeah. But, um, write down the pros and cons, you know, write down what, what would be best. Um, and pray on it and share it with the universe. When you share, everyone feels happy. 
Yeah, and you know this, Libra. Yeah, you know that when you share, everyone is happy. Believe in yourself. See yourself doing well, and you will. So that's what you got to imagine. You got to believe that you're going to do well, that you're really going to um, achieve. Believe and achieve. Okay, brothers and sisters, to get along with others, see the love and the best within them. Okay, even though like sometimes our siblings they can get on our nerves, we gotta um see the we gotta see the love in them because they all have they all they all contribute, they all love you know, love us and we really gotta be thankful and grateful for them. I mean it's easier said than done, yeah, sometimes. Healer. You have the power to heal help and heal people, others. You have the power to um, helping heal others. Some of you are, have taken Reiki classes, Lomi Lomi classes, massage classes. Some of you are real doctors or therapists or psychologists or social workers, um, even teachers in various fields, Libras. Um, please, yeah. Um, you, you are the healer and you also can learn to heal yourself. And some of you may be veterinarians or just love animals and take care of them. Okay, mahalo Libra. Okay, now for the general reading, I'm gonna write down um for the general reading, I'm gonna write it down here. Um sorry, general okay. General reading um 5150. Okay. 5150. Thank you for waiting, you guys. So right here is your general reading. This reading is going to be long for you, air signs. And this is a complete mess, okay? Total submersion. Don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project, interest, or goal. Give it 100% of your energy and you may find what your life has been lacking. Awesome, air signs. So awesome. This is a beautiful card, air signs. I love it. Empower yourself. Tune in to your personal power. You are more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be the strong, beautiful person you are capable of being. So awesome. So empower yourself, y'all. Yeah? Tune in to your personal power, air signs, because the world needs you. Let your personality shine. You have something no one else has that makes you who you are. Stop comparing yourself to others and allow, allow your uniqueness to shine through. You, you know what? You are one of a kind, air signs. You are one of a kind. Adrift in shallow water. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. Maybe get off social media for a little while and, you know, go into the ocean and rinse off. Sometimes the social media stuff and the stuff on TV, it makes us compare with others, yeah, what others, the haves and have nots. But if you go outside and you take a deep breath and you take inventory of what you have outside, where you live or who your family is and who loves you, the basically who loves you yeah um take inventory of that you um you're gonna find that you have a lot you have a lot to offer gliding through currents with a different approach you will glide through a situation with grace and ease going inward and bringing your understanding perspective or behavior into the flow will help your dreams take flight so um Aquarius Gemini and Libra yeah this is this is you this is you. You know how to guide through the currents. Like sometimes you, you, you know, you you don't resist. You just go with the flow. Life is better together. Seek assistance from your community. Connect with family, friends, or others who will support you. It can be simple as making a phone call. Ask for help, you guys. Okay, because this is like, you um. There's going to be a time where you not you have to pay for bills and you're not going to have nothing left. And so ask for help. Don't be shy. Unexplained wonder. Magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life. All your prayers are answered now. 
the color is awesome the, this is the unicorn fish that can turn colors and I, I think it's the female or the male can turn into female something like that and they're just beautiful and this is a perfect example of celebrating um um the um the rainbow well i mean we should just normalize it right the lb um b um team uh, community so but for in my mind my perspective you know we should just um for manama who's we should just normalize it already yeah unexplained wonder kind of general moderation take your time pressure from others or yourself can be realized by renegotiating what you're trying to accomplish gen gentle moderation so i think this is like yeah taking your time and going into slow motion and not rushing into things yeah okay okay um for that one okay so now we have um the child this is for our other cards the child okay i'm sorry trying to look at the name of this card okay this one is a dream dreams of gaia cards and this is the child so um i think it's like air signs is just like being a brand new child and seeing it from a child's seeing the world from a child's point of view seeing it as an adventure okay so this one looks like it looks like a um okay it looks like the devil right here and it looks like somebody right here worried and then this sign um right here i think it's an earth sign um i'm not really sure but this is a five and Okay, this reading is going to be long because I'm going to look. I never got this card before, so I'm going to look at what it is. And it doesn't mean, air signs, it doesn't mean like, oh, evil, that's the devil. And the, um, they're not as scary as they, they seem to be. It's, um, we really don't need any other identity, um, to like see what evil is. <laughs> here we can do human beings can do that all on their own so this is the five five of earth okay so um 170 we can do those kinds of things all our all on all on our own okay 70 wait Okay, let me check again because it's not showing, giving me that card as the earth, but. Okay, this is a minor arcana, so let me see if it has something else. Oh, the father, 44. Yeah, can I give the um the devil or demons any credit because we can do it all on our on our own. It's not the, it doesn't match. Okay, 166. Let me try 166. Over right here. Okay. 5 of earth. So it says keywords, um easy options, easy money, um can Connivance, deception, unnecessary risk, addiction, blame. Avoid easy answers. Think twice about taking risks. Something is not as it seems. Be honest with yourself. You are accountable. Do you gamble with another's future? Consider the feelings of others. Look beyond selfish desires and blame. Meaning, when the Five of Earth card appears, awareness is of key importance. Something is not right. Someone is not as they seem. Someone lies and deceives and that someone could be you. Could it be that you are lying to yourself and those around you? It might not be a deliberate deception, but it is a deception nonetheless. The five of earth can also symbolic symbolize the devil inside who encourages you to take the easy way out, to look for options that lead to instant gratification. 
instead of putting in the hard work that yields enduring success and his voice in your head and heart inspiring you to risk everything for the chance of a quick buck or a mom monetary thrill think twice if you choose to take a gamble now you risk losing it all this trickster is the beautiful con man whose sweet words encourage you to believe your own lies and deception he caters to your weaknesses and addictions dealing out easy lies in instead of hard truths tells you to blame others for all that is wrong disappointment heartaches failures missed opportunities blah 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 okay so um let's see potential blockage is there is a wee devil within all of us yeah we are not perfect okay let's see what else um so right here this one is the eight let's see i never had this card before too so let me look in the book oh it's error right on okay eight So it's eight of eight of air, two oh seven. So I'm just getting words like intelligent, manifestation. Let's see if I'm right. Two oh eight. Okay, right here. The ego, truth, um, power, responsibil uh, responsibility, consequence, cause and effect, lessons learned, memory. So ego does not always tell the truth. Effect will always follow cause. Time to change your ways. Admit that you made a mistake. Memory is imperfect. Self-justification does not mitigate harm. Uh, consequences are inescapable. We all, we all make mistakes. And that's what I said earlier. We are creatures driven by our egos. Our ego is in part our identity, the center, center of our consciousness. It is driven by our instincts and base desires and constrained by culture and society. It can um, it can have us feeling confident and certain or it can have us feeling uncertain and afraid. It can also employ one of several defense mechanisms. Cognition, cognition is a process of acquiring knowledge and understanding. Let me read... Okay, this one is really, really long. So it says the eight of air is very challenging because it symbolizes the um the need to look at your beliefs and behavior. Then it has um personal blockage. The eight of air reverse signifies the need to question our memory of past conversations or situations why because our memories are not always accurate okay um right here is the queen of air let's look at the queen of air okay that is that's a major one Okay, 226. So weaver, observant, wise, truthful, analytical, um, strategic, just, and detachment. Time to be realistic, be observant, plan, organize, and determine your course of action. A need for emotional detachment. Be decisive and precise. Choose your words with care. Stick to the facts. Don't allow your intellect to um, alienate. So the queen of air is one who may at times seem to be cold and distant. There are also times when it is said that she lacks in empathy and compassion. This, however, is not the case. The queen of air is not unfeeling. Rather, she is a critical thinker, possessive of a very analytical mind. She relates to others with more ease on an intellectual level. Okay, She is ne neither an optimist nor pessimistic. She is realist. Okay, the queen is also a master weaver, creates her own her reality and precision and skill. Okay, let's look at um personal block blockage. When the queen of air appears reverse, she represents someone who can both uh, can be both arrogant and disdainment when disdainful when dealing with others, treating those that react to her as an 
emotional way with contempt and callous disregard. She has an air of superiority born of a belief that her intellect stands her above those who are more emotionally sensitive or compassionate. Okay, this may not um, describe some of us, but this may be just um, some aspect or underlying the under underlying that iceberg of the other side of us that um, that we are unconscious about. Okay, wisdom. Air signs have wisdom, so I'm getting. Um, for this card, I, I'm just getting that we're developing a lot of wisdom in June. Yeah, from analyzing the different aspects of our personality and our behavior and the way we respond to events and, and others. And then um, thought. Thought right here. Let's look at what thought is. Okay. Okay, what is thought? Thinking, um, feeling, right? One twelve reflecting and some of us have a lot of time to reflect and some of us that are working all the time don't have this time to reflect so, so thoughts reality power attention focus attraction positivity negativity universal law Thoughts create reality. Thought is the foundation of consciousness. Don't rush your thinking. Be certain. Thought is energy. Energy flows where attention goes. Be mindful of the universal laws. Our conscious and unconscious mind in accord. Be realistic instead of optimistic or pessimistic. Good and bad go hand in hand. Change your mind. Change your life. Do not overthink or speculate. Question the critical mind. Um, speak. Okay, so I think, therefore I am. This simple statement expressed by Rene Descartes is a founding principle of Western philosophy. It means if one questions one existence, the very act of doubting and then questioning is proof that one does not indeed exist. Okay, let's look at the past. Um, the past is the birthplace of all our thoughts as well with our minds, even something experienced here. And sometimes we relive those things in our thoughts because it, it's, it was traumatizing. The present, how we think, whether we think in a positive way confident or compassionate matter okay let's see what else so thought has this whole thing about it potential blockage okay so i'm gonna move on right here um this one here it looks like there's chakras um so it's like earth and okay, look I gotta study this book. Oh, it's air. The right here, the line. Couldn't even see it. Okay, six of air, two oh two. Okay, six of air is solutions. Um, comparisons, compromise, open-mindedness, mindfulness, illumination, emp epiphany, personal power, a time of research and investigation, look at and compare a range of options, weigh the pros and cons, be willing to um, compromise, don't let rigidity hamper pro um, possible success, a moment of epiphany, step into your personal power, so the six of air represents a solution born of compromise that lies somewhere in between the black and white, either choices that are uh, so often seen as the only options available. Now is a good time to contemplate and compare a range of different options in order to discover the best solution. Okay. And then let's look at um, potential blockage. The six of air reverse symbolizes a bad habit of making comparisons in a divisive manner that separates and creates um in us versus them situation yeah so kind of like the victim playing the victim or even sometimes we victimize you know others saying using the us and them or even comparing ourselves to them that kind okay let's look at this one this one was that looks like the chakras the colors yeah it's like fire Okay, ten of fire, two 
Okay, doing self mastery, mastery, evolution, enlightenment, light work, um, light being, discipline, mastery of both craft and self. Take command of yourself and life. Take responsibility for your actions. Do not be a slave to outside forces, order, structure, and simplicity. Be disciplined and dedicated. Stop making excuses. Act. You can do something and you can do anything you set your mind to and act. The ten of fire symbolizes mastery, not just of a skill or craft. Um, but of oneself. It means understanding the tools of your craft and wielding them with skill, precision, and craftsmanship. It is about knowing yourself. And this is what June is about, um, air signs. It's about getting to know yourself. Like you're changing. And you must be asking yourself, why am I thinking like this? Why am I like this? How come I feel like this? Like you, you're self-aware. You're self-aware of yourself. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's move on because we got some cards here. You guys got the um the new blueprints. So that that's what the change with change with change comes new blueprints comes with a new plan. Yeah, and it's beautiful. It looks beautiful to me. Yeah, it looks. There's like life growing around here. There's a star over there. There's a third pineal gland um shining our ancient future i keep on getting this it's just like we're like it's a cycle it's a cycle like just like reliving in the ancient home and and doing what they were doing which is you see all the symbols over here doing what they were doing some like i see all you guys doing um all you light healers doing the light language and speaking in the light languages and communicating communicating in your light language same thing with the people of lemuria they were doing that too look tell they were doing it telepathically they were doing it look at her hands with their hands yeah same with the people in lemuria they were doing the same thing this vulnerability yeah with this retrograde in june okay make us feel vulnerable like we're not good enough air signs like we're not um capable of enough or whatever so we we kind of crawl around our our tools like our um our crystals um and but then we we grow we grow like you see these flowers we're we're growing and we're learning as we go along these vulnerabilities the sound of the universe the sound of the universe so if some of you have singing bowls if you guys are listening to music and meditating about it and um really feeling this te tectohedron right here air signs um really feeling the vibrations in our whole body um we are we are experiencing the sound that's when we experience the sound of the universe Right here, air, this is your sign. This is your um card, paradigm shift. You're always shifting air signs. Like, you guys are just phenomenal. We are just phenomenal. Water, the overthrow, flow, the, the overflow. Some of you may have water signs in your chart. And so, with water comes, what, life, yeah? With water comes abundance and wealth and um and contentment and healing then the ether is a seamless unspeakable the seamless unspeakable like this this looks like um a tetrahedron this looks like a tetrahedron um this looks like a creature here with an eye this looks like a another creature here and multi-universe i'm just getting like multiple universes in the ethers like um creation is all it's create universes are creating in itself and air signs it's as if um we were here we were here helping the creator create is that is as if we we were there yeah we um doing this during june we just got to work on ourselves um and we just got to rebuild and um i'm getting yeah we just we just got to go with this retrograde and work on our you know and just go with the flow 
you know, this communication is like really hard during this retrograde for me, but that's okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this very long reading. Aloha Valya Oko. I love I'm sending you guys so much love and so much um prayers, um, air signs, because I know it's gonna be a very interesting, adventurous and challenging month this month. But uh I'm gonna send you so much love. Aloha Valya Oko. Aloha Aloha Valya Oko. Um, I love you guys. If you guys would like an extended reading or a personalized reading, please just check on the bottom of the box. Aloha.